Gotta grab these saws. Big Dad first. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing's serious. CS73. It's got 73 cc's. 28 inch bar. That's what we use for the big guys. This. Yeah. Oh. What is up guys and welcome back to another episode. Doing something completely different in this one. A lot of you guys know, a year ago I started a tree business with one of my best friends called The Wood Cartel. And today we're gonna do a little video on how you can make $1,600 a day cutting trees. Stay tuned. What's wrong with Big Red? Huh? What's wrong with Big Red? It's getting deaf. We have all this wood here to split from other jobs so we can sell it as firewood. And we have another location that has like five times as much wood as this. Yeah, we need to get on our firewood. Been too busy with the trees though. It's like end of December and we haven't really sold that much firewood because we've just been going like ham on the trees. Ben's getting tired of climbing. You doing, Ben? Heading up. Been having some issues today. Had to buy another saw. Not good. <laughs> Ben's getting started. I'm gonna start cleaning all this up. I'm gonna get Barry down here because he's just gonna start going ham. Got a new saw because the other saw wasn't working. He's, uh, he's about to get after it. So yeah, we gotta get this whole tree down. Hopefully today. It's already like noon though. It's dark at like four. Uh, yeah, we've been having problems. Had to go get a new saw. We've got like six stop handles now and like five of them need service. We've had to go buy a new one. Hopefully they don't get buried then. I don't have to start loading stuff up. We're not even using a chipper today because at the end of the year, we don't own a chipper. We usually rent them. Today, we're only taking the brush and we're only taking like a block. So we're just gonna keep loading the dump and get it out there. Yeah, so what Ben's doing is he's spurring up right now, taking all the limbs off. He goes all the way to the top. Once you're to the top, he's going to start piecing it up in the trunk and bringing it down. Alright, so Ben's about a third of the way up the tree right now. There he is. So it's my job down here to keep all this clean, keep it off the bridge. Uh, what we're doing is high, I can't keep up because he's coming so fast. But I can keep stuff over the bridge and get it done. Get the dump loaded up. Yeah. He's only been at it for about 15 minutes, so. I don't know if you guys can tell, but as he's going up, he's spurring up, he's got his lanyard. That's tied into the tree. The friction's keeping him up. And he's got another rope that he's using, so he's tied in twice. That's how you do this safely. You always going to be tied in twice. So you make this cut and walk it down. Walk it down. He's getting up there, almost halfway probably now. Walking the branch. Starting to warm up a little bit anyway. How's that saw working? It's gonna be cool when you send the top. I'm gonna get that on film for sure. Yeah, like everything can go to the right. Still a lot of tree up there. Okay, he's running right through this one. Looks like a palm tree now. He's gonna keep taking limbs off until he gets to the top, and then he's gonna start piecing. Once he gets all their limbs off, it goes pretty quick. <laughs> Look at that. West Virginia palm tree. He just had to do any rigging there. He might not have to do any. Nice. Nice for me. Walking. Get where you want to lean. Ben's up here taking a break. Just chaos down here. A lot of stuff. Chipper would have been nice. Huh? Said so chipper would have been nice, but screw yeah. it. Yeah, hey, good thing the cook doesn't do the dishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta clean up all this. Can't even get the truck out yet. I think it looks pretty good like that. All right, guys, so he's almost to the top. We're getting ready to send the top. I'm gonna send him up a rope just so uh, I can pull it so we make sure it goes exactly where we want it to go. We'll make a couple more cuts, send him up a rope. We're gonna pull it. I hope it lands right there. That's the plan. Nice. <laughs> oh, dude, the wind from that, like in my face, is awesome. Yeah. We even missed the bush here. I was worried about that. Rocking that bad. I like when I don't get rocked in hell. Yeah. Well, that's nice. 
Well, that worked out perfect. Now look at him. He's just like up there on totem pole. It's usually how you want it to work out perfect. Yeah. It was a little sketchy. Just because the road's right here. So I was like pulling. I was almost in the road. I was standing like right here. We even missed the bush. Look at that. Perfect. Now I got a big mess to clean up. All right, he's rigging it up. So we're going to do another large section just because there's plenty of room. And uh, all the other stuff's still down there for cushion. So he's going to send about that much. I'm going to pull it again. Try not to fall on the road. That'd be dangerous. Try the last cut for the saw. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get pretty big. We'll try and do this one hand. We'll see. There she goes. <laughs> oh man. All right. So Ben's coming down. We're gonna clean this up, take this, dump it, come back, get the rest, drop the rest of the trunk, then we're done. They're actually keeping the big logs just to burn the fire pit, so all we gotta do is get all this brush out of here and uh, make a couple more cuts. This job's over. When's the cleanup crew get here? They're supposed to pick all this up. Where's the rest of the crew at? We left Steven at home. <laughs> <laughs> Steven usually messes stuff up, so. Steven's usually got, we gotta fire every time he shows up. I don't know why we keep him on. It's yeah, just you guys might get a chance to meet him someday. I hope not, but you might. It's just mayhem down here. Oh, mayhem. It's like 2.36, dude. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, that'd be like 4 o'clock. Yeah. You were only up there for like two and a half hours. Oh, so it's getting dark. We almost got him, though. We had a really late start today because of the salt. We really really get started at 11.30. Then it gets dark at like 4 p.m. because it's winter. Yeah, we almost got it. A couple more loads. We'll be done. It's got to take you can get that down, cut it up too, but not much longer, maybe an hour and a half. Ben, we ran out of daylight. Got yep. dark. Yep, daylight saving, but it doesn't save any daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, the tree is down. I can't even see it. It's maybe see it, I don't know. It's down, ran out of daylight. We were gonna keep going, but then, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't really make sense, because we only have like an hour of cleanup left, but in the dark, we're probably gonna miss stuff, and it's not gonna be our best work. So we're just gonna come back in the morning, finish the cleanup. It gets dark at like 4.30 this time of year, so that kinda sucks. We had to go find the, uh, we had to go find a new saw earlier, so that cut into it. But we would've had it all done in one day, and uh, yeah, we've already been paid, so. We actually made $1,700, because there was another little tree in the back that we just hurry up and cut. We didn't make any money? No, we didn't make nothing. We did it for free, pro bono. Yeah, we actually ended up making 17 because there's a little tree in the back that was dead and we just cut her down real quick. And uh, they're taken care of. Now I'm blinding Ben because I'm using the camera to get the lights on. Got sawdust on the camera. Jeez. So yeah, this was definitely a different video. Uh, you guys are probably seeing just fishing videos on this channel, but I actually have a couple other videos like this one on the channel. I'll link them in the description. Comment below, let me know if you want to see more wood cartel videos, more tree cut and shenanigans. That's what we do. So uh, yeah, comment below, let me know if you want to see more like this. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you next time.